Can we all stand for the pledge, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Nikki Bender. Here. Joy Sellers. Here. Melinda Cook. Here. Patrick Sellers. Here. Kathy is absent. The first order of minutes is the approval of minutes uh, for December 4th, 2017. I need a motion and a second, please. So moved. Second. Motion by Seller, second by Bender. Please take a look at these minutes. I see the minutes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right. The next order of business is approval of the table. The motion to second, please. I'll move motion by Bender, second by Seller. Please take a look at bills payable. What is that one on the second page? Uh, JBK yeah, Incorporated. That's our uh, storage rental. Oh, okay. Well, that's what we thought it was. That's our storage. But where is that located? That's located out by the Dollar General on Galena, not heading towards um, the south Dollar General. You know, by Aqua? Yeah, over by Aqua. Oh, so okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what's all stored in there? Uh, Just... Files and, and some of our big... Um, you know how when we moved from the old office, we had the big panels that we had put. Yeah. A lot of those are filed in there oh, for the, the that separated the yes, rooms. Yes, separated rooms. A lot of those are, are filed in there. So um, how long do you think you would keep that paying the two twenty? Is that two twenty a month or two twenty no, a no, year? No, no, that's for the entire uh, year. year. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. Since January 1st, 2018, yeah. April 30th, 30th 2000. Quarter. Yeah, quarter of the year. It's a quarter, I'm sorry. It's a quarter of the year. So, yeah. You're selling this stuff? Or what are we keeping it for? Yeah, that's a lot of the files, we have a lot of files in there, actually. Not just filing cabinets, we have some of our files in there as well. Um, selling the, the, those panels pretty much up to the board. Um, so, we have our annual town meeting. If you guys decide you guys want to sell it, then we can make that decision there. So it's just files and those? In filing cabinets. Um, we had a lot of chairs in there. What kind of chairs? Well. Chairs just, like these? No, 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 no. The rolling, no, the rolling wheel chairs. We had like... For like desks? Yeah, <laughs> for, yeah, for <laughs> desks and stuff. So. Excess office. Mm -hmm. Great. Oh, okay. So we go take an inventory. If you guys want to get rid of some of that stuff, then at the annual town meeting, we can, we can do that. Yeah, I mean, is there okay. any way you can take those files? I mean, are they just, I mean, are they, are they, are they, they important to, files? Yes. Or? yes, and we have to, and we have to keep them. Uh, so how long do you have to keep those files? General, the uh, GA files, we keep. You keep as long as the, as the local archivist commission says we have to keep them. Mm -hmm. You can't throw out anything uh -huh. without permission. They give us a sheet uh -huh. and describe the type of record and when you can throw it out. Oh, okay. And you can't, if you do it before, then you're committing a class three or four felony. And I'm not going to do that. Okay. So um, I'm just being nosy. No, no, no. So is it, is it, is it like um, file cabinets? Yes. Full of them? How many file cabinets are there? Oh, Joy, I don't know. I mean, no, I'm saying, is it 10? Is it 15? Uh, is it I think 30? it's more closer to 15. Oh, okay. Um, okay. So, uh, a few of them are the fire, fire safe ones. The fire safe. Uh, I think we got a couple of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we have. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much. It's pretty much it. A lot of stuff that we we've gotten rid of. A lot of stuff that um, that we could shred. We shred it. Mm -hmm. um, payroll records. Uh, we have some in there, and we can't shred those. We have to keep those. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have a question, Trustee? Yeah. Would, so would it be feasible? to get rid of the storage unit if all the furniture was sold out of there? Would there be a place for the files 
Yeah. Uh, not, not, that, not that many. No, not that many. There's too many. Okay. And um, they're too big. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. No. Okay, that's why I was wondering. There's, I didn't know if it was something that you can condense, condense yeah. down and, you know, maybe. You know what I can do? Maybe I can talk to the, the building owner and see if there's some space in there. We can bring it up there. He's going to charge us if we do that. Right. But it may, it may be less than what we're paying here, so I can check into that if, if the building wants check to do and that. See. I mean, okay. if it's something, I mean, because do you have to go way out? I mean, how often do you check those files, or is it just something that needs to be? It's something we have so, to keep. Yeah, just something you mm -hmm. have to keep. So mm -hmm. it's not like you got to go out there and, and check, check them. And no. Mm -mm. Okay, that's all Okay. Any more questions or claims and demands? Mm -hmm. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Okay, Nikki Bender. Aye. Joy Sellers. Aye. Um, Mrs. Cook. <laughs> Your name just <laughs> went right out of my Melinda Cook. <laughs> Pat, Supervisor Sellers. Aye. Motion passed. Motion passed, okay. The next order of business is the approval of tax levy ordinance uh, 2017-20-03. We did the motion. We need to do another motion in a second. No, once it's a motion, okay. it's on the floor. Okay, okay. So it's on the floor. Okay, well, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Bender? Aye. Sellers? Aye. Cook? Yeah, Supervisor Sellers. All right. The motion passed. Motion passed. The next order of business is the supervisor report. I have some handouts to give you. This is our expenditure to budget report. Um, I also have some more information I would like to give to the board. Please. Because I know Barb is writing. I don't want to interrupt the train of thought. Now, the next thing I'm going to hand out, I would like for the board to consider us providing a grant to this program, this Children's Dys Dyslexia Center, mm -hmm. and it's taught by Mrs. Uh, Pat Ludwig mm -hmm. at, the, at the Masonic Temple. Mm -hmm. um, in that around. And if you guys get a chance, please take a look at the, at the last page, the final page of this information. Okay. Look at the final page of information. Um, the, the first page is um, someone who's gone through the actual program and that's, and that's their uh, testimony. This page? No, the first page. The first page. Oh, I thought you said the last but page. But I say look at the last page first. <laughs> but it's, it talks about the, okay. uh, the human cost of reading failure. How 85% of juvenile offenders have reading problems. 86% of inmates are illiterate. Uh, the prison population increased uh, 139% in, in the 90s to 300% in this decade. So reading is very, very important. Um, and the work that she is doing is, is, is pretty amazing. And I think that, that uh, it will be a great help for the, for the township to, to get involved and help her out and to ensure this program stays in existence. So just take a look at this information. Um, we'll have more discussion on it uh, in, in, the, uh, in, in the upcoming uh, months or so. Okay? Wow. Well, just quick, mm -hmm. I'm reading it says uh, their annual budget needs are 128000 What amount would be an amount we consider? From, from, from our discussion, uh, she and I, she said any amount would help. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a big amount. Um, I know the uh, Golden K uh, gave, I think, $1,000 to the program. Who is? The Go Golden Kiwanis. Mm -hmm. well, there is like a, a budgetary excess, right? We have, and a lot of townships get grants. It's yes. a big part of mm -hmm. many of the more... Like the bigger townships, yes. they give out a lot of grants. Because mm -hmm. right. yeah, we used to give, what was it that they used to give that large amount to? Was it the senior center? It was the, yeah, the, it was the yeah, senior. We, um, we, we gave to the senior center, to the Boys and Girls Club, um, to FACC, 
I'm saying not not this board. To I'm what, saying right, the previous. previous. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. So they and they used to give over five thousand dollars. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's what I was wondering. We and had they fundraising. Huh? Mm -hmm. so we had fundraising okay. throughout the year to put that money in there. It really did not come too much out of the budget because I was on that board. Well, my thing is this, guys. <laughs> But he, the thing, oh, here's, here's my beliefs. You can't do enough for education of our youth. We, we can't do enough. I mean, it's, it's necessary, it's needed. Um, and I'm not here pleading on, on, on behalf of any group or the, or the other. Uh, us being a township, we are going to really look at helping our community. We need to start helping with youth and, and everyone else. And I think this is a great start. Mm -hmm. just, just my thoughts. I mean, just looking at the, uh, what's the name of that book that comes out? We just got one. Perspective. Yes. Mm -hmm. And looking through that and looking at all the things the other townships mm -hmm. do and all the awards they do and mm -hmm. all that, I'm thinking, mm -hmm. where is, you know, I didn't see anything about our township, which, you know, I know we're, we've, and we've, I think this would be great. I think, me, I would say the 5,000 <laughs> for okay. one year. I mean, what? especially since we only have, I mean, this is just what I'm speaking of. Okay. Especially since we only have the small amount of people right now in Orange right. Township. Right. You this know, is the, the money is just sitting there. This is the board's decision. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying, so, is the money just sitting there? Yes, and it's waiting money? for us to, to, to get to, to, to a worthy cause, and yeah. I think this is a worthy cause. I do, too. Wow. I've heard good things about this program. People have gone through it, and, and I know Pat knows it. So <laughs> it's she's really a caring person about the children. Okay. I will give some more discussion about it at a later date. Um, that's uh, all I have. I'll have numbers for you at the next meeting. Okay. Um, so with that being said, the next order of business is well, you, you have numbers for us. As far as client counts. Oh, okay. okay. <clears throat> As far as our client count. Uh, so the next order of business is the, the assessor's report. Um, I'm going to hand it over to Mia. Uh, Patrick and she met with the taxing bodies yes. in discussion of uh, shared payment on having appraisals done for our commercial and industrial properties. Um, some that were past appeals, some that are currently at property tax, and some that we want to stop at board of review level. So, um, maybe it's going to take it from here and then I've got some other things I want to discuss before we... Well, we met with the tax districts. Patrick called the meeting and most of them showed up, so that was good. <laughs> and we, um, as Cindy said at the last meeting, we had a couple that filed with Property Tax Appeal Board and a couple commercial properties and they won by default because no evidence was submitted. So these same two filed for 2016 property tax appeal board asking for a larger um, adjustment in their assessment and um, have also filed in 2017 board of review as well as a couple other commercial properties. So um, the meeting was called so we could discuss um, whether or not the taxing bodies were interested in you know, pooling our money together to come up with um, outside appraisals for these properties. So everybody seems on board. We're getting estimates now, and then we'll come back and, and go from there. How much does that cost? I forgot this, do you say? Um, well, the, the two, um, the county will take care of ordering the ones for Property Tax Appeal Board because it's Board of Review's value that has to be defended, not necessarily Freeport Township. That one, do you remember, it was like 6500 6, for them to be able to mm -hmm. defend it mm -hmm. at, that would be for a written review of the appraisal they submitted, a new appraisal, and um, for it to be defended then um, in Springfield if need be at PTAB level. That would be for one, mm -hmm. one property. And then um, we got an estimate for two of the properties that we want to have done at board of review level. And it, I don't have a written um, quote on that yet, but just a guesstimation over the phone for two of them, two written appraisals and um, testifying 
by Board of Review, it was going to be, I think the first one was going to be 4,000 and the second was three, mm -hmm. and then 500 for the, so you're looking at about 7,500 on that, those two. Mm -hmm. okay. So once we get the quote, then, yeah, we'll send letters out to the taxing districts to make sure they're, and ask them for a letter of intent to make sure they're still on board mm -hmm. once they know the, the values. But we had tentative values we discussed with them and they seemed okay with that. And it would be broken up by the tax rate, their portion. So of course the school district's gonna pay the highest yeah. portion of those those fees. Well, they get the highest portion of the tax due, right? Yeah, right. that's why that's we get broken up that way. <clears throat> so once we get that, I'll have estimates too as far as what our portion will be compared to everyone else. Yeah, and in conjunction with all of that, I, I think it's going to come, because the sales for these types of properties are, are so limited, when we get, as we had said before, when we get the individuals that come at us, the lawyers, and then those that have the MAI or the CRE credentials, the only way we can defend them is to have an equal across the table. And it's just the way it is. It's not something that we like, um, but for whatever reason, um, we can do and do a lot of in-depth work, and it's for not. So this is really the only way we can go um, to defend and to contain any loss. Like it, as she was saying, the two that the two that appealed in 15, okay, well we took them that far. Let's ask for some more, and they did. So you know they were content with the one lowering, but now they go, oh, and you become what what what's, would be termed an easy mark, and we don't want to be known to be that. Um, we want our values to be stable, and secure, and and supported. So. Do you have information if other townships had the same problem? Oh, it's, it's everywhere. And the attorneys, I mean, we used to get um, really hit hard by those out of the Chicago area. Um, they would come out for your big commercial, um, more so than the industrials. In fact, the, um, uh, the commercials would come after us. So, yeah. So, and okay, so for the rest of mine, this is my last meeting, and I just want to say thank you. It's been a pleasurable 37 and a half years, for the most part, for the most part. Nikki, you and I have got a lot of history, <laughs> and we, we, can, we, can, we can say a lot of things have occurred since I stepped foot in the office in 1980. Um, but it's, it's I'm, I'm looking forward to the retirement end, um, but it has, it, it's been fulfilling, um, because what we do in our office, we take it very seriously. And as I was told, I have to not take it personal. That's probably the hardest part because, you know, you really do work hard to do what we do and try to make it fair and equitable because the tax burden is, is a hard one and nobody wants to pay their taxes and I understand that. So, it took a long time. My replacement, Ms. Meta here, she will be outstanding. She will keep you guys informed. She will do a wonderful job. Um, she's been by my side for 24, three, where are you at? Something like that. A long time. I would say, I think my math would be 24 years. So um, she, will, she will do an excellent job. So I, I say thank you and I wish township government a long life, because I really do believe this division offers and provides the public and the people a real opportunity um, to be heard. Um, so I, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing and reading that you're doing things with the youth, that you're doing things with housing of some form or another. Um, and the, the township, you know, we make our mark here because we get, you know, swept under the carpet as that non-essential form of government. If the state would just take and look at what we did <laughs> with where we were, um, we've done a lot. And I, and I applaud you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Right, the next order of business is trustees report. Trustees. I just want to 
I'm wishing well, Cindy. You've done a great job, no matter what all the people say. Thank you. They welcome, um, welcome <laughs> to you. Thank you. Next one of the business is public comment. Public comments. Hmm. Any other business coming before the town? You get Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. We're all uh, going to be out at Semino's for dinner at, uh, what's that I say? 530. 530. And I forgot myself. So. Wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Yes. Absolutely. Wish everybody a Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and a Happy New Year. Oh, be safe. Be safe. Uh, Joy, make me some cookies. Any other business coming for the town? Uh, yeah, I know. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn until January 2nd, 2018. Which is a Tuesday. Which is a Tuesday. So, so it is a Tuesday. Yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Meeting adjourned.